Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. There's a lot of emphasis placed on haunted houses in the UK and the USA, so none of those will actually make this list today and I'll feature them in their own videos later. Instead, I'm taking a look at five places elsewhere in the world that you may not have heard of, but are reportedly some of the most haunted. Turn out your lights and make sure you keep an open mind for this video. Number 5. Borgvatnet Vicarage In the beautiful countryside of northern Sweden lies a small village called Borgvatnet. An old vicarage still stands there, built in 1876, and is reported to be one of the most haunted places in the world. The first report of ghostly activity came from the chaplain who lived there in 1927, and his successor in the 1930s also experienced supernatural occurrences, namely the ghost of a woman floating through one of the rooms. A decade later, the replacement chaplain and his wife regularly experienced objects being moved by themselves and unexplainable sounds. A woman staying in the vicarage as a guest in 1941 awoke one night to find three old women sitting on the other side of the room and staring at her in the dark. Even when she turned the light on, they didn't disappear, but instead seemed fuzzier and harder to see. At the end of the Second World War, a new chaplain named Eric Lindgren moved into Borgvatnet Vicarage and documented every time paranormal activity occurred. The most notable of his experiences was what happened in his old rocking chair. He was unable to sit in it for very long before he was thrown out of it and onto the floor each time. This happened fairly regularly. Ghost Hunters International investigated the vicarage in 2009, and while they found some strange goings on, it seems to be a place with mostly personal experiences rather than hard evidence such as photographs. Still, it seems that Borgvatnet Vicarage has a reputation for lots of ghostly things residing inside it. Number 4. Changi Beach Behind the calm beauty of Changi Beach in Singapore lies a violent and terrifying history. During the Second World War, thousands of Chinese people were tortured and killed by the Japanese in what is called the Suk Ching Massacre. Many of these victims were decapitated. Because of all of the death and misery associated with Changi Beach, many people have claimed to see and hear paranormal activity on the beach and in the surrounding area. One chilling story told by numerous visitors is that of hearing dreadful screams and cries of men and women, even when there's no one else around. These are thought to be the sounds of those torture and execution victims reliving their pain. Some people have reported ghosts walking across the beach, headless bodies wandering aimlessly and sobbing. Another common sighting is the severed heads of the dead Chinese soldiers floating over the sand, crying out for help. There have also been reports of bloodstains in the sand that won't wash away, and large mysterious holes appearing by chance, assumed to be those used to bury the victims' bodies. Even the nearby beach houses and derelict hospital, which had apparently been used as prison camps, are considered haunted, with weird noises and unexplainable feelings of dread and of something touching you. A ghost investigation team visited this hospital in 2014, and the recorded creepy noises, along with this picture, that appears to show a figure staring out of the window. Is it haunted? Maybe or maybe not, but with such dark bloody history, it's one of the most likely places. Number 3. Monte Cristo Homestead Dubbed the most haunted house in Australia, the Monte Cristo homestead was built in 1885 in Juni, New South Wales, Australia. Despite its grand manorial look, it has a number of deaths associated with it throughout its history, many of which have apparently resulted in hauntings. The most reported ghost is that of Mrs Crawley, the wife of Christopher Crawley, who built the house. She was a severe woman who ran the household strictly, it's said that she still haunts Monte Cristo, very choosy about the guests who stay there. If she doesn't like someone, she'll appear or make her voice heard in attempts to drive out the terrified guests. A deeply devout woman, she's also seen wearing black in the chapel, carrying a large cross. Mr Crawley has been seen wandering the halls as well, though less often. At the front balcony, the ghost of a young maid has been reported, gliding slowly across. This is where a pregnant maid was supposed to have committed suicide by jumping off decades ago. Her blood on the steps below still hasn't quite disappeared, despite repeated cleanings and bleachings. Things get a lot creepier around the main staircase though. Children become unexplainably terrified and anxious in this area, and people report a deeply oppressive, ominous atmosphere. Some even have asthma attacks. Historically, this is where the nanny looking after the Crawley's baby daughter 
dropped the girl to her death down the stairs, claiming that an invisible presence pushed the baby out of her hands. One more chilling report by numerous guests over the years is that of the second floor hauntings. The second floor was home to many deaths, including a woman who died during prolonged childbirth and the death of Mr Crawley himself. Many people staying in the rooms on the second floor of the house have claimed to see sad, ghostly faces staring in through the windows at them, despite there being no balconies. There have been more deaths, and even murders, seemingly making the Monte Cristo homestead a truly terrifying haunted place indeed. Number 2. Clark Air Base For nearly 90 years, the Clark Air Base in the Philippines was a US Air Force base. Left abandoned in 1991 for several years, and then turned into a commercial airport, Clark Air Base has been described as one of the most haunted places in the world, including by Ghost Hunters International. The air base, especially the on-site hospital, is witness to decades of death. Bombings in World War II, suicides and war wound victims all add to the tragic death toll. One particularly devastating bombing in 1941 killed many servicemen and civilians during a Christmas party. People who jog in the area in the early morning report excited conversation and music drifting out of the buildings, despite them clearly being empty, as if the Christmas party is still going strong. There are scarier hauntings, however. Alongside countless reports of disembodied voices and orbs of light, many people have witnessed violent spirits throwing items and screaming inhumanly, clearly warding off these visitors. In the museum on the airbase, a disfigured ghost of one serviceman still apparently haunts the exact area where he committed suicide by hanging. Other battle-wounded spirits have been seen gliding around the runways outside, their injuries severe for all to see. There is also a repeated story of a young woman clad all in white hailing a taxi from the airbase, only to disappear from the car mid-journey without a trace. All of these stories, along with whisperings and an ominous atmosphere, lend themselves to making Clark Air Base one of the most haunted places in the world. Number 1. Island of the Dolls Known to the locals as Isla de la Muñecas, if I get the pronunciation right, the Island of Dolls lies a little way south of the bustling Mexico City. It's a small island situated in the canals of Xochimilco, and it's uninhabited apart from by thousands of decrepit dolls. Creepy, isn't it? The legend goes that several years ago, a young girl drowned in the waters around the island, and that all the dolls are now possessed by her spirit. Visitors report hearing the dolls whispering to one another, or seeing their eyes or heads following them as they walk around the island. Some people even claim the dolls somehow lured them onto the island with a sort of siren song, or with an unknown force. But how did they get there in the first place? Well, it's quite a sad tale. The island used to be managed by caretaker Julian Santana Barrera, a lonely man who looked after the gardens there. He was the one who found the drowned girl, which affected him deeply. Shortly after this death, he noticed a doll floating along in the water and believed it had belonged to the girl herself. He took it and displayed it on a nearby tree in a bid to commemorate the unfortunate child, but also to ward off evil spirits. Whether this story is true or not, it's undeniable that Barrera continued collecting these dolls and stringing them up until there were thousands, decorating the island in a macabre display. Sadly, Barrera died in 2001, and it's believed that he drowned in the same place he found the girl, though I can't actually find any definitive evidence for this. To this day, though, the Island of the Dolls is a popular tourist attraction, some people believing it's charmed by the spirit of the dead girl, others believing it's deeply haunted by evil spirits possessing the dolls. What's clear is that the creepy dolls, some missing limbs, eyes and bodies, are a frightening sight, especially after dark, and although there are countless claims of ghostly activity and hauntings, they could very well be the exaggerated stories of scared visitors. Still, would you go and spend a night on the Island of the Dolls? Perhaps seeing them move around in the dead of night and whisper unimaginable spirit talk to each other as they watch you with those dead eyes. Whew, and that's it from all top fives for this week. Definitely a list of scary, scary places. I've had to miss out so many others, obviously, that I'll have to do another video on this subject in the near future. Maybe two. Don't forget, I'll also do a video each for haunted places in the US and in the UK, as they have so many just to themselves. 
I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below, but you know, please be respectful and considerate of each other and other people's opinions and beliefs. If you've enjoyed or been terrified by this video, then please do give it a thumbs up because it does help me out on YouTube and you can subscribe for a new video every Tuesday. Hit the subscribe button. So peace and love to each and every one of you and I'll see you all next time on All Top 5s. Sleep tight.